About a month ago, a couple came to me. Both the husband and wife were in their early 30s. The wife was around 32 and the husband was around 35. They had come to me with a specific purpose. They had been married for 2 years and they wanted to postpone pregnancy for another 2 years and they wanted some contraceptive advice. because both of them have just got lucrative jobs in the middle east and they didn't want the hassles of a pregnancy now i try to explain to them that it's unwise to postpone pregnancy especially a first pregnancy because the woman is already 32 now and if she waits for another couple of years who knows she may find it difficult to become pregnant on hearing her answer i was literally taken aback Come on doctor what age and what era are you living in this is the age of IVF ICSI and other procedures assisted reproductive procedures if at all we find it difficult to become pregnant after 2 years or so then we will resort to techniques like IVF ICSI etc she was so casual about it i felt very sad when i heard her speak thus and i was reminded of a statement made by the american society of reproductive medicine asrm the statement is with increasing technology there is an unrealistic expectation that technology can reverse all aspects of aging sadly it's not so technology has not found ways to reverse the effects of aging of all cells and egg cells especially and that is why one of the most important determinants of the fertility potential especially in a woman is her age with advancing age there is a decrease in both the quantity and the quality of eggs with men it's not so even with increasing age men are still able to produce good quality sperms provided all other factors are all right So how and why does age affect the quality and quantity of eggs in women in this video let's have a detailed look at it so stay tuned and watch this video till the end Hello everyone welcome back to your own youtube channel mind body tonic and this is dr seeta with you again in this video as i told you in the introduction let's have a look at how age affects fertility potential in a woman first let's have a look at the general trend of how age affects fertility generally fertility in a woman is highest in her 20s even if it is late 20s it's okay in the early 30s there is a slow decline after 35 there is an even more rapid decline and after 40 there is a very rapid decline in fertility after the age of 45 few women are fertile this is just the general trend mind you there are many women who become pregnant after the age of 45 have an uneventful pregnancy and give birth to healthy and normal children and at the other end there are many women in their 20s who find it difficult to conceive have a lot of complications throughout pregnancy and give birth to children who have some issues or other as age advances there is increased incidence of failed pregnancy especially during the early months and there is increased incidence of pregnancy induced hypertension that is increase in the blood pressure during pregnancy gestational diabetes that is occurrence of diabetes mellitus during pregnancy and many other complications the results of assisted reproductive procedures like iui ivf icsi etc also decrease with increasing age So why do we make this general statement that fertility potential decreases with age this is because both the quantity and the quality of eggs decrease with age and why is this so let's have a look at that first let's have a look at how age affects the quantity of eggs all the eggs that a woman is destined to have throughout her life is produced during the time when she is a fetus when she is within her mother's womb to be exact at around 5 months of gestation that is when she is a 5 month old fetus the primitive form of eggs are held or contained within small fluid filled sac like structures called primordial follicles at around 5 months of gestational age that is at a time when the female fetus is around 5 months of age they are around 5 to 7 million in number 
By the time a female baby is born, these numbers drastically reduce to around 1 to 2 million. And at the time of puberty or around the time of menarche, it reduces to around 1 lakh. And throughout the reproductive period, this keeps on decreasing. Out of these 1 lakh follicles, only 300 to 400 ovulate between the time of menarche and menopause. All the rest undergo atresia. After menopause, the ovaries themselves shrink and contain no follicles. This is what happens to the quantity of eggs with advancing age. Now, let's have a look at what happens to the quality of eggs with advancing age and why this happens. With advancing age, the nucleus within the egg cells have got a tendency to divide abnormally and so the chromosomal distribution among the daughter cells is not always normal. Sometimes there may be a decrease in the number of chromosomes transmitted to the daughter cells. Sometimes there may be an increase. A common example is the risk of developing a child with Down syndrome with advancing age. One common issue that can occur to children born to mothers with advancing age is Down syndrome. I am sure that many of you must have heard about it. In Down syndrome, what happens is in the 21st pair of chromosome, instead of two, there are three chromosomes. Hence, it's also called trisomy 21. Fortunately, nature recognizes many of these abnormalities with increasing age and terminates them. And that is why there is an increased incidence of miscarriages during the early months of pregnancy as age advances. I mentioned about this earlier in this video itself, isn't it? Though with increasing age, the frequency of children born with Down syndrome are common because of damage to the egg, nucleus and DNA. Women of younger age can also have children with Down syndrome but by different mechanisms. I'll explain about all these in detail in the video about Down syndrome which I'll do sometime. So what's going to be a plan of action now that you know all these things? I leave it to you all to decide for yourself what you wish to do. But let me just finish this video telling you what I would suggest and recommend. For those of you in your late 20s, say 27, 28, 29, etc., please don't delay your pregnancy for whatever reason, be it studies, job, whatever it may be, especially if it's a first pregnancy. Please start seriously thinking about having a baby if you really wish to have one. And if you're finding any difficulty or issue in becoming pregnant, both you and your partner must visit a gynecologist and get the appropriate test and treatment done. For those of you in your early 30s, don't worry, it's not still late. Go and visit a gynecologist or an infertility specialist and get whatever that needs to be done. For those of you above 35, especially those of you who have been married for a long period, please don't hesitate longer. Please don't wait much longer to avail facilities like IUI, IVF, etc. if needed. For those of you above 40 45 and who have still not got even one child please don't lose hope yet your ex might have aged or your ex might have decreased in number or are absent completely but your uterus is still there and if your uterus is healthy you have always this option of opting for donor eggs if you so wish to so this is all i have to say about age and fertility in women please do share this knowledge gained with others your friends contacts and family till i see you again with another video take care of yourself and your loved ones and stay blessed